Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we'll be taking a look at the new Brawler Lola, which feels completely broken. Of course, I'm giving you guys the best tips and tricks, everything like that. Before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed and let's jump into it. Now, Lola has one of the most insane damage per seconds and just damage in general that I've ever seen. Of course, the reload speed is quite slow, so that is not going to help Lola. But when you have that super, all you want to do, you just want to ultra aim it, which is, of course, going to put it uh, straight on top of you, which means so wherever you're shooting it's pretty much gonna follow and this is the best way to play that super unless of course you're against a penny or something like that but yeah that's gonna be an amazing way to put it you just want to ultimate it down and it's gonna essentially follow wherever you're shooting which is absolutely perfect it means that you're essentially gonna deal double the damage and uh, you can use this gadget what's that that gonna do give your uh, Lola a shield basically boosting that HP up to 11k uh, for a couple seconds that can tank so many shots um, but yeah it does actually stop it so it kind of like it disconnects it from uh, what you're doing so you can use that to line at uh, Lola and your super up together but just be careful make sure you're very very near the super and you're going to be good okay now Lola's first star power is going to give you an extra 30% damage when you only have one ammo now Lola's second star power is essentially going to mean any teammate you shoot with your ego is going to get healed 100 HP including yourself this is a really good star power but honestly I think both of the star powers are really good and uh yeah i'm not 100 percent sure how much value you're gonna be able to get with this uh, because obviously you do want to be shooting those enemies i think probably the first star power is going to be uh, the better one but i wouldn't be surprised if the second star power uh is <laughs> is the better one because they're both just really really solid star powers and uh if you kind of build your comp around a tanky comp or whatever and maybe like a frank after the new update when frank is very very op uh you may just see that this star power is being used in some crazy uh, op comps but of course uh in heist i think that lola is going to be a tier just because when you get on that safe you're going to be able to deal an insane amount of damage with your pet and uh yeah it's kind of going to be crazy when you get on that safe you just start melting it down so i think lola is going to be really really good in heist now i think lola is going to be absolutely amazing in siege just because you could just absolutely melt the boss so so easily uh, and it's pretty much going to be able to solo defend like any siege bot um which is going to be absolutely perfect so in my opinion lola is going to be s tier in siege Siege. And uh, yeah, Siege is going to be one of Lola's best modes. Now, I also think Lola is going to be S tier on Brawl Ball as well. Just because, um, I don't know, you just have insane damage. It just feels like this is going to be Lola, one of Lola's best modes. But as I said, I think Lola's really OP. So it's going to be good in pretty much all modes. But I do feel like Lola is going to be S tier in Brawl Ball. Just because as soon as you get that super, you just turn into such a beast. Your damage is kind of insane. And you do tend to see more tanky comps on Brawl Ball. Now, as for Lola's uh, worst modes, I think Lola is probably going to be worse on Bounty and Knockout. Um, so what rating I would give Lola there is probably uh, still an A or a B tier in these modes. Just because you have really solid range, it's pretty easy to hit those shots. And I still feel like Lola is going to be uh, pretty good in bounty and knockout but in my opinion these will be the worst modes for lola i could also see lola being a tier in hot zone and gem grab now i also think that lola is going to be very very good in showdown just because you have really good damage really good hp and overall i just think the lola will be really really strong uh, in showdown of course you want to make sure you are using probably the first star power i would say in showdown just because it uh, obviously there's no teammates to heal you can still heal yourself but obviously that's not going to be as good so uh next up here for a couple of tips um so lola's shots are actually just really really easy to hit as i just miss a ton of them there uh, but yeah they should be really easy to hit of course once you do build your way to that first super you should be cycling it as much as possible um of course just all trim that super it's going to put it straight on top of you uh, you can use that gadget to actually tank a lot of shots so what i like to do is kind of run into the enemies and then just use that uh that super to kind of, or the gadget to kind of tank uh for me and keep me alive in a lot of those situations of course uh you just want to keep putting that super down uh you really want to be careful you're not doing it next to a jesse otherwise you're going to give her insane value of course and uh, make sure you're not doing with a penny um or next to a penny or next to a bell as well anything like that of course you don't want to give them uh easy shots on you because essentially by putting your pet there as it is slightly slower than you it is gradually going to disconnect uh from like your positioning so you just want to be careful 
Um, because <laughs> it is going to make though like a, a lot. It's going to make it a lot easier for those enemies to hit those shots. So you got to be a little bit careful. Okay, now what maps should you be playing Lola on? So we've talked about the modes. Now we're going to talk about exactly what kind of maps, whether it's a short range or the long range maps. Of course, Lola's range is a uh, pretty mid tier. It's not short at all. It's definitely a solid range. I would compare it to like it looks also the cone as well looks very similar to the Leon a uh, kind of cone of damage. Uh, what I would compare Leon to Leon obviously has pretty well that's what I would compare uh, Lola to sorry is Leon because Leon has crazy good burst damage at close range but also um like that's what, that's what I feel like I feel like Lola is just a version of Leon uh, in the damage respect but that damage doesn't kind of drop off with distance it just stays the same so you essentially have like pretty much Leon's damage at f like that furthest range that you can hit people with with Leon maybe it's a little bit shorter than Leon's range but it does just remind me of that Leon range so you have pretty much insane damage so what maps would I be playing Lola on I would be playing Lola on those medium to long range maps uh like backyard bowl super stadium anything um that you know you'd be playing a brock on anything you'd be playing a leon a spike on it's probably going to be a lane brawler um and not a mid in most cases but i can see um i can definitely see lola being an, a mid on maps like super stadium okay so next up we're going to talk about what matchups are going to be best and worst for lola obviously i'm pretty sure lola with super can two shot every brawler in the game uh except for maybe primo and frank but yeah lola does really have ridiculous damage so to be honest of course lola is going to be strong against those tankier brawlers like um the franks like the primos like the jackies like the pams like the eight bits anything uh with good hp lola is going to be able to absolutely melt so lola is definitely going to do well against those types of brawlers also um so like what is going to be lola's worst matchups then so obviously it goes without saying that Penny and Jesse and also Belle. I'm really gonna hard counter Lola to be honest because like this super is so important to how good Lola is and imagine you just have a penny it's <laughs> basically uh, it's either gonna get you killed like the ego is either gonna get you killed or you're gonna get the ego killed so um, either way it's bad also I feel like uh, those long range brawlers in general just like the pipers the uh, Bells, as I already said, the Brocks are definitely going to counter Lola just because they are going to outrange her. But I, I did say counter. I don't really. I mean, that's going to be the toughest matchups for Lola. In my opinion, Penny uh, will counter Lola and Jesse will counter Lola. I don't really think those long range brawlers like Pipe and Brock will counter Lola, but I do feel like they will be the best attempts of a counter because I do think Lola is going to be so, so strong that I really don't think anything is particularly going to counter Lola. Uh, but yeah, those are the best counters and matchups for Lola. Okay guys, that is going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.